Uh, I'm Colonel uh, Monin and I'm in charge as a project officer of uh, the Scorpion Camo program in the Belgian Army. So this is the, the first child of the strategic partnership between France and, and Belgium. Uh, the aim is to establish and to show the soldiers, the user, the end user, that uh, this, uh, this uh, partnership is born. Obviously, we have other others' purposes, and it's to learn from each other and to build the future about doctrine, about procedures, about connectivity, about interoperability. So the CAMO program, uh, it's based, of course, of a, uh, on a purchase of uh, some features. Uh, the Griffon and the Jaguar, who will equip uh, the, the, the French army, uh, but also the Système d'Information de Combat uh, Scorpion, a second generation battlement management system, which is much more than an, an, a BMS, and also uh, a set of radios, the contact radios from uh, a Thales. Besides that, we, we, will, we, we want to integrate uh, our me, uh, motorized brigade into the French doctrine, into the French certification, uh, uh, everything, so the education of our people, everything will be uh, by both nations according to some standards and procedures. The difficulty is the interoperability at the lowest level. Uh, we can talk about connectivity, uh, radios from the same uh, brand which are not talking to each other, but also the inter interoperability between people uh, to be sure that when we are giving a task to a French platoon commander and to a Belgian platoon commander, commander the execution will be according to the same mindset. So this is really the challenge that we have now. It's to synchronize our education and our training to have the same output. The first deliveries will take part uh, in 25 and uh, till uh, uh, 2030. So uh, during five years, we will uh, all equip almost one battalion Belgian size a year. Uh, it's very difficult to predict the future, <laughs> but as of right now, we will keep the vehicle till the end of the new equipment phase. And, uh, up to uh, the situation at that moment, we will then decide to put them out definitively of our uh, garage. So what you're looking here, it's the dismounted version of the MMP. Uh, as of right now, we are equipped with the Eurospike uh, dismounted uh, launcher, but we will have the MMP as part of the Jaguar uh, vehicle. Uh, in the future, we still have to build everything. So the capabilities are now the same. We have the Spike, they have the MMP. How will we evolve in the next future? The next step will be decided in this common governance structure. So I'm the Major General Mark Thijs, I'm the Belgian Land Component Commander, Belgian Army Commander. And the, the aim of the exercise actually is it's, it's the first step in our strategic partnership together with France that we concluded last year. And it's a first interoperability exercise, not only technical but also cultural interoperability. There, there are different aspects, so the first one is a, is a technological aspect. Uh, uh, we all have frequency hopping radios, we all have uh, quite uh, uh, software defined radios but they have national cryptos, so they don't talk to each other. And uh, one of the purposes of this exercise is to find bridges actually to, uh, to integrate uh, a French company into a Belgian uh, uh, battle group level uh, uh, unit. That's the first one. The second one is, of course, uh, we both speak French, but it's not always the same French. And also that's the cultural challenge to understand uh, from both sides that uh, if we say a word, that we all understand the same thing. And uh, I think that this, this exercise was quite, a, quite an interesting uh, start to it. Uh, there are quite some, uh, quite some return. 
and uh, we'll work on that. Uh, all those lessons are identified to, uh, to up to uh, a next exercise in, in uh, next year or in two years. Uh, first of all, uh, we're already working on it uh, quite some time. We have Belgian officers who are inserted in, in, in the French uh, staff. Uh, the opposite will also start to happen uh, in some time. Uh, and actually, we're, we're preparing actually the, the strategic partnership, which is more than simply equipment. It's also, uh, we're writing doctrines together. We're uh, looking into uh, maintenance uh, together, into training uh, together, all, all those synergies, we're working on that so that we get already by 2025 when for Belgium the first uh, vehicles arrive that we can immediately switch to those, uh, to those vehicles. The French are already switching uh, next year, the first vehicles are arriving. And so I think the next exercise will be already uh, somewhere with on one side uh, already Scorpion and uh, Griffon uh, vehicles and on the other side still the Belgian legacy vehicles. Thank you. 